hello everyone in the previous video we successfully uh, opened our all of the post in the table and now the time is to display them in the data table so first to uh, understand that why we need the data table so basically i want to display the pagination here i don't want to display uh, above 10 posts here on the same page why because it will uh, increase our it will decrease our performance and uh, also it will affect our system memory and uh, and uh, you can say that it will perform the kill the performance okay so basically we are us using this for the performance and we also need the ascending and descending functionality so for example i want to uh, make this ascending right so basically by default it's ascending i want to make this descending whenever i will click on this title so it will pull the post uh, which are descendant right and i will also want to search the post from this title so i can search this from the title if i want to search some post with the description so i can search this from the description if i come to search this from the category so i can search this from the category so that's why i need the data table so basically data table is a javascript plugin which is used to uh, make our table as a data table so how you can get this so let's search it on the google data table dot uh, data table cdn and it will yes this one is the official website of data table cdn dot data tables dot net i uh, know this one is a cdn and if you want to make the a data table so you can visit the official database uh, data table website basically this one is for the cdn which uh, where you can pull any of the cdn so now it's displaying from uh, from the top so i'm going to use this one so now your question that uh, how i'm viewing this in your case uh, if you will not install this extension you are not able to view this right so if you want to add this you can add this grapper extension it's uh, very useful if you are a developer or uh, you are uh, searching something on the internet so you can install this extension it's very useful so how it's going to work basically it's uh, going to uh, pull the best answer and then add this here at the top so you don't need to visit the website it will be available without visiting the website i'm going to copy the css cdn and let's go to the top and here i'm going to add this after this uh, want away some cdn and i'm going to go to the bottom here I'm going to add a script section okay we already called this section in the master layout and if you are not familiar with this one so you can watch my previous video where I completely explain that uh, how these are going to work okay paste them and let me add this uh, after then sign at the end and after this I need to add an ID here to my data table so I'm going to assign an ID of uh, post table okay now let's go here and initialize this table like this right so here i'm going to first call this uh, i already told you that why we use this uh, document ready because it's going to check that uh, our document is ready or not so ready function okay and uh, that's why you need uh, some little knowledge about to javascript and jquery and here i'm going to mention my table id post to table and i want to initialize the data table right okay so now save this one and let's uh, get refresh okay mm -hmm. And yes, our data tables are working properly, right? So let's go descend this. And yes, I'm able to descend this from title, category, and stuff like that, right? So you can search this like Laravel post. And yes, you are able to search this out. And search this from the drop port. You can insert this if you want to just port category. And yes, everything is working fine. So you can also, there is now showing only seven entries. If you have uh, multiple entries, so you can view them by 25 or 100 right or 50 so it's totally upon you and you can also paginate it from the from to the now you have only one page if you have multiple so you can switch between the next and previous without page refresh so this is the beauty of this data table 
and uh, here it is playing like uh, we don't have image so i'm going to delete all of my data here and then i'm going to create a new post because some posts don't have an image so you can display here uh, here if we don't have any image we can display an uh, default image so you can do this so how you can do this you need to just go to your here and then you need to uh, call this like uh, if uh, the post having this uh, gallery let's go here and uh, like this if there is a relation so then you are going to get the post and then you are going to get the gallery and then you are going to get the gallery name otherwise here you can define your logic that uh, which path uh, which image you want to load so you can also load it to uh, hard coded like uh, test dot png so that you need to store this into your image slash post directory and then this will be open by default but i'm not going to do this here i just uh, want to tell you that how you can do this okay so now our posts are displaying here right i'm going to remove all of the posts right and then i'm going to uh, then i'm going to fill i'm going to add uh, two or three posts so let's go here and remember when you are deleting post right let me go to the public directory when you are deleting the post you need to uh, remove the unlink these images right so for now i'm going to delete these because then i'm going to create the image it will this directory will be automatically created so basically i'm deleting all the images so you don't need to do this whenever you are deleting your post so you need to uh, call this whenever you are uh, deleting the post first you will find uh, this image from the public directory and then you are going to unlink this image from the you know, project and then you are going to delete its post right okay so here i'm going to how you can uh, drop all your table and recreate them and also seed your data from the seeder so just execute this one command so you can do this one command but i will show you a simple command which will do your two steps php artisan migrate you can call fresh or you can also call refresh it's totally upon you and then you need to call you need to add a flag of seed so basically this is uh, this will call the php artisan db seed migration are completed seeder are completed successfully so now let's go here and give it a refresh and yes it's displaying no post found right so i'm going to add here post and then it's going to click on this add post so we are going to display the add post so now i'm going to click on close this stuff because it's confusing for you that's why i'm going to close the one and here i'm going to go to my auth plate where i'm going to interact with the sidebar so basically my sidebar contain basic ui elements so let me search for basic ui elements it's this one so here i'm going to display that uh, post and in the post uh, I want to display the first uh, and here I'm going to display the uh, you can say that uh, add post or create post okay and this this one contain the post which will show all of the post so here let me reference their URL so I'm going to post dot index okay and this one will be containing the route create okay so now let's get refresh and take eye on this sidebar and yes it's contain the post and why it's okay it's by default open and it's highlighting that we open this out okay so now here we can also display it that uh, which uh, whatever page is open so let's click on this create post and yes we are in the create post and when we are when we are clicking on this so we can instantly go to the this post right so let's go here go to the post and yes we are on the index page so whenever i'm going to click on this one i'm also going to visit the post home page right now let's go to the create i want to basically implement this in the create because if i go here it's going to reload the create page again right 
it's basically not reloading because we don't have any link so let's go there and implement this out so go to the create and in the create at the top here we don't have any links so i'm going to add a link of route post dot index right now let's save this one and give it a refresh and yes so if i click on this i can instantly visit the um, uh, uh, it means that i'm going to visit the all posts so sorry for urdu so urdu speakers can understand that what i said so here now i'm going to create new post because we don't have any post okay i'm going to create the laravel post right so what's the category i'm going to choose uh, electronic we don't have any science category so i'm going to choose a draft first and here i'm going to choose a file okay let's wait i am going to choose a serial transparent and here i'm going to write that uh, laravel is the um, best uh, framework for ever okay let's submit this out and yes our post is created and is playing good job and uh, this image is uh, not created what's the issue so let me view it why it's not created let's go to the public directory in the public we have images and we have this image so why it's not loading this image we have this uh, image here so why it's not loading the image? so let's visit the index of the post oh i miss this name here when I'm, when I'm telling you that how you can add the default image so that's why it's not displaying the image and uh, still it's not displaying oh i call this wrong again here this would be an image not the name right so it's basically i'm getting the gallery table column and yes now it is playing the image and uh, now the time is to apply uh, now the time is to display them on the website right but before this i want to tell you that here we are displaying this description with the p uh, paragraph tag html tag i don't want to display this as html so how i can change this out so now let's uh, go here uh, this one is description right so here we need to add this so instead of this one we need to add this like this and we need to add the double one so it's going to basically remove the x axis which is uh, used to prevent the and yes now it's so uh, uh, visible properly and basically this one is going to remove the special character from our string but make sure when you are editing this one so you don't need to add this one otherwise someone is enter your script to, into your input field and it will be become dangerous for you okay so take care about these things let me add this in the one liner okay so now our posts are ready administrator side our post are ready and i want to display them on the on the website right so let me close these one and what's our website so our website is on this localhost 8000 right which is a home page of our application and we are displaying this home page so i want to open my website here and i also want to open my blog or post here so i will do this in the next video because our video is going bigger so i will meet you in the next one bye bye